Hello, you amazing artistic individual. I'm very excited uh, for you to join me today as we learn how to draw a mermaid bunny. If you are familiar with my art, that is one of my favorite things to draw. That is a big part of my artistic brand and just what I love painting and that's really just my thing, I guess. <laughs> so anyways, um, let's let's get into it. Let's draw some mermaid bunny. So what I'll do is we're gonna draw it with a pencil first and then we'll go in and I'll show you how I, I how I outline it. Um, so I've already posted a tutorial where I showed you how to draw a regular bunny. So I was like, I have to make one about how to draw mermaid bunny. So let me let me get just uh, go ahead and get into this. All right, let's go ahead and face the other direction just because the other bunny was facing that way. So we're gonna face this way just because. So um, if you have not watched the other how to draw a regular bunny, uh, which I will put a link to in this video, uh, I'm gonna show you my process and kind of go over similar things to what I did last time. So starting out, what I always do is I start with the head or the upper area. That's just what I do. That's just my thing. So that's, yeah. <laughs> and the first one I started out with uh, doing the ears, but this one I'm starting out with the head. Um, just to show you something different. So you want to kind of draw this like rounded out area and then it, there's sort of this little thing part of their face that sort of juts out that I always make sure to do and See that nose is a little too curved. So let's fix that. We want to kind of make it there We go make it come down a little bit more and there's like this line here and the two lines for their mouth And I'll show you the other way that I do My eyes which is a little bit more like cartoony. I guess you could say uh, like this where instead of it being more like a realistic looking eye, I kind of give it kind of more anime or I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but there's like this little curve that comes out and yeah, <laughs> real descriptive, I know. So I'm going to make it a lop ear today since the other one had pointy ears. I'm going to show you how to do a lop ear. So there's his head and then you kind of do this part that like juts out at the top here. And I'm just going to do like the basic shape, which is like this. So. I think it needs to come out a little bit more. Let's see. There we go. That's a little better. So it kind of sticks out like that. And then it kind of widens out at the bottom here, as you can see. And then goes back up to like being thinner towards the top. Kind of like a pie shape in a way, I guess you could say. And all right. So then we're going to finish the head by doing that. Okay. So then... We're gonna work our way down the body and we're just getting the main outline here. So what you wanna do is kind of poke the chest out a little bit and then the arms or the paws start a little bit below its chest. So, and it kind of curves down. So here's its like little elbow and then it kind of curves like that and then you put I put two little lines in here for its paws. And then I kind of curve the back out a little. Uh, you still want to give it a good enough width here. Um, so I'm going to kind of just do this and then explain what I do. So it's a little easier for me. And we are already running out of room. I'm really bad about that because I don't do an anatomical basic shape first. I just kind of go for it. <laughs> so then I adjust from there. But we, we have just enough room. So it'll be okay. <laughs> so anyway, so what I do is... I kind of slope it out like that and then make it thinner towards the tail. So it's kind of like a cur curvy shape going on here. And then we also want to add a little second paw sticking out. You know, I'm still not happy about this ear. I think I need to make it go back a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's it. So kind of like that. It was sticking. Yeah, that was it. It was sticking it too far up there. Um, there we go, like that. And can't forget the whiskers. We'll put little dots here. And another thing I really like doing, this is just a thing that I do, which is I do this curly, and it's just a cute little thing that I put where their cheek is. So it's just a little cute blushing kind of thing. So what kind of tail do we want to give it? Let's, um, 
me show you one of the ones I usually go with. Uh, one of my favorite styles, which is, I kind of do these little, I, I kind of do dash lines. I don't just uh, go for it. So I put these two kind of things here on the end things. <laughs> and then I do one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's three little scoops here. And they kind of they kind of go down a little bit so let me adjust that so it starts off higher and then it, it goes closer to the bottom here so like that like that and like that and then one two three like that so it's kind of C shaped you see what I mean and kind of do that and then I draw a line out to each one so it's kind of like and three two Three. There we go. And these these kind of stick out a little bit. I like to kind of make those stick out just a little bit. And the good thing is because it's got a, a fishtail, which is very flexible, if you run out of room like I do, it's not too hard to kind of manipulate the drawing to kind of fit the space. So there's a little hack, I guess you could call it. Um, okay, so we kind of do that. So we got the basic shape down. Let me fix this a little bit here, actually. It's a little too curved, so I'm gonna do like, there we go, that's a little better. So before we do any of the details, um, what I'm gonna do is outline it and show you what I do for that, and then I add the details last and like making it fuzzy and giving it scales and stuff. So the, the other tutorial, I used the thicker graphic style marker. Um, I totally accidentally erased, uh, I didn't let it dry, and when I erased the pencil lines, it smeared all over the place. So usually I leave the pencil lines in, uh, but just for the sake of giving something different and to show you what I really do, um, I'm going to use my one, zero 01 micron pen, which is what I use to outline like pretty much everything. Um, and I'll kind of zoom in a little bit more if it's kind of hard to look at the details. Man, this is awful. <laughs> now you know what my art really, what's really going on. And this is not common for things to be off center. I know what to do to fix it. I just don't do it. So yeah, I can do what I want. Art, yeah. Okay, anyways, let's get back to outlining this. So I'm starting up with the ear and I'm doing what I did in that other one where I kind of do these little curved lines like that to, to show that it's a fuzzy bun <laughs> um, and then let me just do it and show you so I kind of do like that and then I kind of do a little line I do a lot of little line dash things just to kind of just kind of make it more obvious it's a fuzzy bun sometimes I'll just do a single straight line and usually I do that with the um, face and like the face components. So like here, I just do straight lines. We're gonna make sure this little guy's a little happier this time. The other guy kind of ended up pretty sad. And I'll do little eh, little dots at the bottom to show he's happy. Little dots here for the whiskers and the curly cue. And then we'll go in here and do the eyeball. And if it's not dark enough, you can just go back over and kind of outline it a little bit more there. All right, so let's get into the chest. More of those curvy line dashes. I kind of jump around. I'm actually being a lot more um, <laughs> organized with this drawing, <laughs> but usually I'll jump around the place. So I'm trying to make this a little easier <laughs> to follow. I have never done tutorials, to be honest. This is all new for me. So anyways, um, so the top half, fuzzy bun, fuzzy little curved lines, but on mermaid tail, I just do a single smooth line. And let's give him a little fuzzy bunny paw over here. There we go. And I'm gonna kinda outline that a little bit more. All right, so then we go with the tail, and that is also a smooth line that I do. So, ooh, this paper is pretty bumpy. Um, so that did not come out as smooth as I wanted. That's okay. And then curve line. There we go. It was just, it was all and we connect it to all of the, you want to connect it to those dots kind of, not dots, but the, um, the corners kind of sticking out like that. 
And um, this is where I go and I'm gonna fill in the eye now. Um, I'm gonna use this graphic pen just because it's uh, faster to color it in. Or else it will take forever using a Micron 1 pen. There we go. And I feel like his, the white in his eye should be a little bitter, so I'm going with this gel pen, white gel pen, so we can make the white of his eye a little bigger. I like that, there we go. And from here, I either put in like um, the fur details, and then I put in the scale details. So I'm gonna put like little curved lines, and I'm kinda sporadic with it. Um, just kind of doing what I want and I either do like little curve things or I do just dashes like that just to show that's what the fur looks like um, <laughs> I don't have much rhyme or reason to it sometimes I do little sort of curlies like that too kind of like the blush sometimes I'll even do dots I mean just to give it more texture basically and then for the tail of the scales, I usually put more down here and less up here. Um, that's just a thing I do. And all you do is little C shapes. Super, super easy. Um, like that. I won't do too, too many this time just to keep things simple. Okay, like that. And I do them in clusters. That's a really important thing. You want to put them in clusters uh, throughout the tail um, so it looks a little more realistic um, and then making sure to put some like half ones on the edge of the tail that also helps a little like that um, and just kind of going with it seeing what looks right um, and I put some going up that kind of mingles in with the fur so there we go so, yeah, that's pretty good put a, little, put a little bit more down here and yeah, pretty happy with that. So, and then the, the last thing I'll do is like, I put these little lines in the nose, um, little dash marks. Uh, it's sort of like a thing I do for shading. So I go in and do like a squiggly line around where shading would be. And I do these little quick lines like this. And I do the same down here. I do some down here. Um, sometimes I'll do it here because of the ears covering that shaded area. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's how I uh, line my paintings. So I'm going to put my signature down here because, opa, aqua bun. It's an aqua bun. And hopefully this doesn't smear. <laughs> I want to show you what it looks like. Um, yeah, this dries a lot faster, thankfully. Oh my goodness, I totally messed up the last one because I am not used to using that graphic marker pen but yeah usually I I just leave the the pencil markings in I think it adds a more kind of organic feel to it and it makes it more obvious it's an original if that makes sense so there we go we got ourselves an aqua bunny Ta-da! so thank you again so much for joining me today I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for walking, watching. Whoop.